Hello everybody. Welcome to the Garlic's High Performance Garage channel. Just going to do a quick video. Um, uh, just regarding the, the hurricane down in um, Florida and in the Carolinas. They said that uh, on the news, this is not bullshit that I'm making up, but on the news they say that uh, these electric cars are getting waterlogged with salt water from the hurricane. And now a couple of days later, they're catching on fire because the salt water gets with the uh, lithium and creates hydrogen and it ultimately goes up and, you know, it blows up, you know, kind of like a small hydrogen bomb and the firemen can't put them out because once that stuff is uh, chemically joined together, you can't put it out because it, it's just unstoppable. It's just... It's trash. I mean, it's it's a it. They're a chemical nightmare, is what I'm trying to say. You can't put something out like this that defies the chemicals of a fucking fire extinguisher. And they were using regular fresh water to put these things out, and they weren't really putting them out. They were just throwing water on them just to kind of contain them into one area, because if you let one go, it's just it's hard to say how hot it would actually get thousands of degrees um i just don't really understand why they are um shoving these electric cars on everybody now it's to the point where um some uh some fellas that i work with they actually tried to order a new one, uh, f-150 from ford and they could not get one because the gasoline engine the the triton that they're we're putting in these F-150s is no longer available. You can only get the F-150 Lightning. That's all you can get. Half ton, full size pickup truck. The F-150 Lightning is the only one you can get for as far as F-150 goes. I don't know about the Ranger or that Maverick pickup uh, or their SUV. I don't know about those. Um, I know they have <coughs> Chevrolet as the electric Silverado. <clears throat> And, excuse my voice here, I've been working outside all day. Kind of a little dried up. Uh, I know Chevy has the electric silver auto. I don't know if they still offer the regular uh, LS V8 or the V6 or anything like that anymore. I have no idea, but I would say they're likely to follow. I don't know why, because they, they give you a, a charger when you buy one of those. Like, say you go get an F-150 Lightning. They'll give you a charger to take to your house. And then they tell you, oh, it'll plug into your 110 receptacle. Well, what it does is it overloads your breaker box. Eventually. It won't do it right away. But about a week or two, your stuff will start getting hot in your breaker box. Like, uh, the only time usually stuff gets hot in your breaker box is when you have loose connections. But this, these chargers, they're just, there's too much, there's too much, uh, they put too much of a draw and stress on your electrical system at your house. So what's going to happen is your house is going to catch on fire when you, while you're asleep and you're charging your lightning in your garage or in your driveway or something like that. And it's going to burn your fucking house down. Because when those batteries start to chemically combust, they put off a, a vapor and it's unmistakable. The smell of it is like nothing you've ever smelled before. And it's very toxic. It'll kill you. It, it'll Likely, you'll probably, if you, the chemical is pretty heavy in the air, you'll probably die before you burn to death. I would say you'd probably die of like uh, something like carbon monoxide poisoning or something like that. It, it would be like a, a some kind of a poisoning from the, the, uh, the lithium uh, burning out of control. Or just start when it starts to smoke, it starts to get real hot before it combusts, it'll put off like a gas, you know. So these cars, these these battery powered vehicles, I mean, I'm all for an alternative energy source for us, you know, to use vehicles. I, I would rather us make an alternative fuel to put into the cars that we got so we can still run and burn a fuel that would be a little bit cleaner. But the cars aren't the problem right now. 
It's the power plants on the other side of the world. That's the problem. They're all coal-fired power plants, which there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're, aren't, if you're not catching your carbon in your stack before it gets out, you're not really doing anything but just polluting. Our power plants in the United States, on this hemisphere, all our power plants in Canada, United States, Mexico, South America, all these power plants that exist on this side of the fucking planet are clean. They all catch their carbon. The United States produces 10% of carbon, and that's from our animals and us fucking belching and farting all day. And the very little bit that comes out of our goddamn cars. And you're going to find out that our plants around, they thrive off of carbon to live. So I don't really understand. You know, they, they're trying to shove these electric vehicles off on you. They're trying to make it so nothing else is available. So you have to buy it if you want to go commute any place. You're going to have to buy it and aggravate with these electrical fucking monstrosities. And I just don't understand they're trying to push something off that, you know, it's like it's like uh, putting a gun out on the market that you don't make shells for yet. That, you know, they've only made a handful of them. Oh, it's a really good gun, you know. Here, everybody, buy this. This is the only one we're making now. And they didn't got no fucking ammo. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do? Say, say they give you four shells with it. When you waste those fuckers, then you, you ain't got no more. That's the same with these electric cars. There's only so many charging stations. Right here, where I live, there's only two places that I know of that have charging stations for these electric cars. One's 10 miles away from me, and I think the other one's like 5 miles away from me. But are you really going to sit around and wait for these fucking things to charge? I'm waiting for one of these places to catch on fire and burn the fuck up. That's probably what's going to happen next. So, we, we really need to Vote in November. We really need to get some of these crackpot motherfuckers out of the office. We need to go use our voices, man. I mean, I understand there are a lot of people who really like them fucking Democrats in there, but I don't... I can't say that I like the, the Republicans either. I don't like either one. But we're not going down the right path. I'm telling you, they're, they're killing jobs. They're uh, trying to do away with oil. We need oil. And they, they lie to you and say shit like, you know, there, there's a big uh, big thing about the oil. It's like, oh my God, oil is made from dead plants and animals. It's, that's, it's fossil fuel. It's not fossil fuels. There's nothing from fossils in that shit. That is a byproduct of the fucking planet. The planet produces oil. It's a byproduct of the earth. It's constantly, we drain, we, if we empty a, a fucking well, we've drilled for oil. We empty it, cap it off. Five years later, that motherfucker's full again. Explain that shit. How does that happen? That's why these old, these old oil wells in Texas are fired back up and are fucking producing again. That's because it's not what they say it is. Oil doesn't come where they say it comes from. They're just full of shit. So people, you need to use your voice here in November. You need to call and call your congressman. See if they'll get off their lazy asses and do something for once. Because these electric cars are going to kill people. You get a big population with people driving these monstrosities around. They're just not safe. They're, you're talking about human lives at stake here. People are going to die by the thousands. These cars are not good. These are not the these cars are not our answer for cleaner energy. They're not. You can't tell me that all these cars all oh, oh well we're using electricity to charge them, and then they're bitching about the coal-fired power plants. And it's like, how else are you going to charge them? That's how everybody around here gets their energy. It's from a coal-fired fucking power plant. So really. And, and mining, you still have to mine, and you still have to burn coal. You still have to dig for iron ore. You have to melt it down with coal. You have to, you know, to, in order to make vehicles, make tin panels to make these vehicles anyhow. 
and all the plastic's made out of petroleum. So really, you're not gaining anything here by uh, killing the internal combustion engine. You're not gaining shit. You're just going to pollute a different way now. So th this, this is just a, a big money thing. Elon Musk and all these politicians down here in D.C. and the president, they're all making great big money off of this. It's because they went ahead and jumped on the vegan bandwagon here where they want to go, they just want to kill your fucking way of life and they want to jack the price of oil up and make this this uh, gasoline stuff a rich man's commodity. It's going to be to the point where you can't afford to fucking put gas in a goddamn car and they're going to, that's another way they'll force you over onto electric cars. And I don't know about you, but I can't dig forty or fifty thousand dollars out of my ass to go buy another car. I just don't make that kind of money. I can't pay for that stuff. I can't even get a mortgage for Christ's sakes. And they want you to take out a mortgage to go get a fucking new fucking pickup truck. Come on here. This is crazy. This is insanity. This is an idiocracy, is what we're going through. I know I watched the movie. I never ever thought that it would become a reality. Here we are. We're we're living in an idio idiocracy right now. So I'm urging everybody, anybody that watches my bullshit on here, which ain't a lot of people, get a hold of your congressman. Email that fucking person. Tell them you don't want this stuff. You don't want to die. You don't want to live short. These cars are just, they're not the answer. And all they're going to do, if they ain't blowing up and burning you to death, or catching your house on fire and burning it down, you're going to be stranded this winter somewhere. And you're going to freeze to death in one. Because your battery's going to die and you ain't going to have no heat. These vehicles, they are just, they're bullshit. It's a big bunch of bullshit. All it is, is to get you to spend your fucking money on a bunch of junk that's not going to work. This is a fraud. This is the biggest scam our country has ever fucking been into. I mean, this isn't Ronco and his fucking garbage here. This is a crazy ass fucking billionaire in California. He needs put in a fucking straitjacket. He needs his fucking ass put in the fucking loony bin. Because he is nothing but a fucking fraud and a con artist. He's like the My Pillow guy. Selling you a goddamn shitty fucking pillow with memory foam chunks in it. It ain't worth a fuck. I'd rather get a goddamn pillow made out of fucking emu hair and lay my head on that son of a bitch. And that guy right there, he's a fucking insane nutcase. Crazy bastard. Fucking Elon Musk, he's the same goddamn way. Crazy motherfucker. I can't say that shit on Facebook. I'm in Facebook jail again, by the way. You can't, you can't speak your mind or say anything because they don't want you telling people the truth. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. Electric cars are a scam. They're a fraud. Keep your goddamn gasoline vehicle. I'm telling you. Keep it. Do not get these electric cars. And to all you haters and naysayers out there and tofu eaters and people who hate eating meat and want to run off and, you know, go get their vegan car. I'm telling you, these are not a good idea. This is stuff that's going to get people killed. So what y'all need to do is uh, boycott this shit. Because if you don't, your life depends on it. And this this inflation thing, that's it's not inflation. All it is is... These asshole politicians down here in D.C., they just want the stocks to go fucking batshit fucking crazy so they can fill their pockets with money. Their offshore bank accounts, I'm sure they're overloaded. And they're letting the stock market, these assholes, run amok with their so-called freed trade. It's not free. All they're doing is they're just fleecing the taxpayer. So, if you work and you have a job and you pay taxes and you're not living off the fucking government... Get down there, get, write your congressman, email him. Well, nobody writes to anybody anymore. Email them, call their office, tell them you don't want electric cars. And tell that cocksucker 
if he ain't going to fucking do anything about it, you're not getting his fucking vote because they're just salivating right now. They want everybody's vote. They want everybody out there to vote for him. Every congressman's coming around just about licking your balls to get their to get your fucking vote because they want to be back in there and make that big money. They want to take all them checks off them lobbyists because that's that's how everything is today. Everybody says how it's a oh it's a free market. It's oh it's so great. Everything's so great. It's not. There is no build back better. That's just a bunch of bullshit. It's build back bullshit. Is what they should call it. Bring back the horse shit. Is what they should really call it. Because it's not doing nothing. Uh, they're they're in there to squander money, and to cheat us all. So. Everybody. I urge you, get a hold of somebody with some power. We need to do away with this electric car shit. And GM, Ford, and Chrysler jumping on the bandwagon like that, they're just out to make money. They don't give a fuck about your safety. That's why all these cars that they've been making here for the past 30 years are fucking junk. Ever since the 90s, man, cars have been just garbage. I mean, the 80s are not real good. But this fucking... When they hit the 90s, buddy. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. So, that's all I got for you. Please, help us, help us gear heads out a little bit. We don't want the automotive industry being put on its fucking ear. Especially the aftermarket. Because that's where we get all our parts for these fucking cars and shit. Help me. So, Everybody have a good one, and uh, like, sh uh, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Just don't buy new electric cars. They're not good. It's a fraud. Please, do not buy them. Because when you do, you just make these guys' pockets fatter, and they try to fuck you over a little bit more. Just bend you over, run one up your ass, break off that rod. We got this one. We got them. So, everybody have a good one.